<laughs> you the man, Scott. So, after going through and taking the uh, no water equivalent measurements throughout that whole thing, we're ready to go back into the lab and do the math to figure out the snow density and also to figure out how much water is actually in that pile of snow. Now, it's time to go back to clean up here and go back to the lab and do some math. As we were out in the field, the first step in measuring the snow water equivalent in the snow patch was to survey the patch. Once the snow patch was surveyed, we then divided it up into sections. Now that the different sections are ready, we then took our snow water equivalent, or SWE for short, measurements. Taking SWE measurements requires measuring the depth of the snow and the weight of the snow in the tube. To find the actual weight of the snow, you must remember to subtract the tear weight of the tube from the total weight. Now that we've found the snow depth and the weight of the snow, we can calculate the density of the snow. Since the scale we used in the field was not a federal sampler, which reads out in units of centimeters or inches of water, we must find the snow density to calculate the SWE for each section. The snow density can be found by dividing the mass of the snow by the volume of the snow inside the snow core. Here, we'll show you how to find the density of the snow in the first section. Typical units for snow density are grams per cubic centimeter. Now, we'll find the density for the rest of the sections. Finally, we have all the information we need to find the SWE in each section. SWE can be found by taking the snow density divided by the density of water, which can be approximated at 1 gram per cubic centimeter. This quantity is multiplied by the depth of snow in each section. Again, here we'll show you how this is done in the first section. Now that we have the SWE measurements for each section, let's take this lab a step further by finding out how much water is locked up within the snow patch. We can find the total water content of each subsection by taking each of the SWE measurements and multiplying by the approximate area of each section. We can approximate the area in each section by looking at the width and the length of each section. Here the width of each section is 5 meters and the length is 4. Now that we have the area of each section, we will show you a quick example of how to find the total water content of the first
first section. The final step in finding the total water content of the whole snow patch is to sum up the total water content of each section. After doing the math, we estimated that the total water content of this snow patch is approximately 26 cubic meters of water. In conclusion, we found that snow water equivalent is equal to the snow density divided by the density of the water times the depth of the snow. Also, we found that snow density is equal to the mass of snow divided by the volume of the snow. And finally, now you consider yourself a snow hydrologist that knows how to use a snow core. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to learn about snow water equivalent measurements with us.